So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. The wedding is complete. We're married again. There's the ring. Where hey hey got girl hands. Don't don't judge. Uh, but yeah, it was a belter. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The ceremony was solid, although yeah, it didn't really go as planned on the stream. I I, I took my laptop. I took this mic. I took my webcam, and the Wi-Fi just wasn't good enough. So I kind of had to just tell the DJ who was the one who was recording it to just use my phone. And then the audio kind of got mullered with the whole microphone. So I apologize about that. But I wanted you guys to at least see it afterwards. It was good fun. We had a laugh, bit of a dance. And yeah, it was a belter, belter of a day. But we are back today. I'm going to walk you through it, folks. OK, I've decided I'm going to do this for you live installing Football Life 24. I'm going to install the update. I'm also going to show you how to put stadiums in because I've downloaded a few of those uh, as well as some faces. Regarding like the other mods, I will show you where things go, um, but I'm going to be working on my website over the next month to get that done. And then it's going to be easier for you guys to add what you want, put whatever you want in the game uh, and then kind of go from there. So that's the plan. And then we're going to crack on with a brand new Master League, all the updated transfers. We will test it in this video as well because i got to make sure that Man United are in the Champions League, that we're in the right season, and all that fun stuff. I haven't installed it, so this is basically me doing this live blind as a bat and hoping that it works out. Okay? Fantastic. But before we dive into it, we have to do this, folks. Aniba.com. Remember, we are partnered up with them. There is a sale going on right now uh, that does end, I think, today. And there are some decent sales. You've got uh, the, Star, the Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which is actually quite a good game. I did finish it, which is a rarity for me. Uh, you've got SnowRunner there if you want to give that a bash. Resident Evil 4. Uh, I did see some PS5 games as well. Uh, Sleeping Dogs. If you haven't played that, honestly, for five bucks... Might be worth giving it a bash. Uh, there it is. God of War Ragnarok as well. Up for grabs. There's FC24. If you're still playing it, how's it going? Uh, and of course, Horizon uh, and a bunch of other games. There's even GTA Trilogy. Remember, GTA 6. Next month, folks, I believe it's going to be announced. So that's going to be interesting. So there we have it. Aniba.com. Links in the description. Check it out. Now let's get on to installing Football Life 24. Okay, so here we are. The first thing, the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously scroll down, give it a read if you want, but we're not here for that. We're here to install it. Uh, and these are going to be all your download links. So make sure you click the plus, uh, and then you're going to go through here and download them. Okay, click this. It's going to generate a link. Takes 10 seconds. At least it's not pop-up after pop-up after pop-up. It's just one link. Click that. Download all the files. Um, you know, I'll just kind of show you here. You click it. This is through Mega. If you have it, brilliant. If you don't, you could try something else. Click download. There we go. So that's that, right? So do that for all the files. You're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 11. Uh, and then there's also going to be an update file at the bottom of the page. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. Okay, we're going to do it right away. So we're going to go to the folder. Now, this, this, this is where I have all my files, okay? So there's all the files themselves. I've also downloaded the stadiums. We'll talk about those afterwards if you want to go and grab those as well. Now, remember, I'm running off of, like, Football Life 23. So I'm pretty much going to copy and paste a lot of my mods straight from 23 to 24. It's the easiest way and it's going to work because it's basically the same game with, you know, some updates. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on uh, these links, okay? And from here, why are you not uh, why are you not going in front of him? You don't like him? Is you're going to have obviously this. Now you can install it right here just by clicking it. If you don't have um, WinRAR by the way, you're going to have to go and get that. Simply head over to uh, I'll show you right on here. There's the link, rawlabs.com. Okay, this is if you do not have WinRAR. That's the one. You want to go in here, just go to downloads on the left-hand side, find your version, your English version, wherever you're from, wherever it may be, and download the 64-bit, unless you're living in the Stone Age and you want to do the 32. But download that. Once you have that sorted, then you're going to be able to extract files as so or as such. I pretty much would do is just do that, 
and do extract and extract it to the folder where you have all the files because it just makes it easier in the long run. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but if you mess up, you don't want to have to keep extracting things all the time. So yeah, find the folder and extract it. Once you have it extracted, you will then have this folder right here. It will change from, you know, the books to just a standard folder, SPFL24. Click on that, and then we're going to go to the setup file and click that bad boy. Actually, that just reminded me, before you do this, I would highly, highly recommend you disable your antivirus. The reason for this is I've already done this once and I couldn't do the updated file because my antivirus decided he was going to go mental and uh, it didn't want to work properly. So I'm actually going to just make this pop up real quick. I actually use Webroot. I'm not sure if you guys use it or not. Um, yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to, we're going to wait on that for the time being. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to turn off all this stuff. Oh, here we go. The pressure's on. Typing in a bunch of numbers and letters that you can never really make out. Right, there we go. So protection's disabled. I'm fine with that. I'm actually just going to turn all these off for the time being. Uh, and that way we're not going to get flagged for any false negatives, positives and all that malarkey. Once you've done that, we're going to go to next. Next. Uh, and now we're going to try and find the folder. Now, I would highly recommend you find a place and a drive that has at least a few hundreds worth of gigs available because you're probably going to install a lot of different mods and the stadiums alone are going to take up a lot of space. So I have made a folder within the D drive program files and then I've made this folder called Football Life 24. Just hit make new folder and create one. If you don't create the folder, it's just going to plot all those files just in a folder that you don't want. So make sure you create a Football Life 24 folder. Then click OK and simply click Start. And that's it. It's now going to go ahead and pretty much install all the goodness for you. So I'm going to let that run. It might take five, ten minutes because that's how it works. Uh, and then we will return. So I'll see you in a mo. All right, folks, so it is done. As you can see, it says it's installed. So we go ahead and click exit. I didn't have any problems with the antivirus this time. So yes, make sure you do that. I'll take I'll put a note in the old pin comment just in case, because sometimes it will flag certain files as a Trojan and etc. And you just don't need all that kerfuffle. So yes, make sure you uh, disable your antivirus. Uh, once the settings pop up, Sort them out for yourself. These are basically the same ones as I had on Football Life 23. All right, folks. So I, I've tried installing this update numerous times. I do not know what's going on with it. I'm going to try and run this as an admin, but it's telling me every time that it hasn't properly installed. So I don't know what else to do. Uh, if you know the problem, let me know. But I just, I don't, I don't understand why it will not do what it's doing it says select the 24 folder which is exactly what we're going to do we're going to go d drive program files and there it is click ok uh, and then click start okay so that fixed it you need to run it as an admin okay make sure you install the update as an admin so i you know what it's probably best that i do this live so you guys can see me embarrassing myself trying to do this um, but there we have it right fantastic it's the first time i've actually seen that that it's installed correctly sweet so that's what you need to do simply extract this file right here to that one right click run as admin and then it will let you install it okay so we've done it officially fantastic so then what you'll have is a folder like this with football live 24 with all the files okay now this is a very bare bones football live 24 as you can see insider and live cpk there is absolutely no files okay there's absolutely nothing now what i do want to do very quickly is just show you guys a very quick comparison between football live 23 and uh, 24 just so you guys have a better idea of what is what so i'm going to pull this out where hey there it is as you can see that's what we have 
So Football Life on the left, Football Life 20, sorry, Football Life 23, Football Life 24. So if we go to the Cider and then Live CPK, you can see these are all the files that I have for Football Life 23. What I'm pretty much going to do is copy and paste these over. They're all going to work. They will be fine. I've also got new faces. Now, these faces are not from the actual Football Life, okay? These are all basically faces that I have added. As you can see down the bottom there with the likes of Ganacho, can't really see it, but there's Ganacho, Menji, and Hoyland and all those faces. So if you want to overwrite the default faces, you need to create a folder called faces that will have all the assets in it, etc. And then from there, you can put your own faces in. But this is where you're going to put all the mods. Okay, then you've got your modules folder. As you can see, the difference is quite substantial. This is where I have the likes of the stadium cams and the penalty cameras and all that stuff that you see that aren't in the default football life. Once again, this is extra stuff we're adding. The gameplay loader, for instance, that I use for my mods and the gameplay itself, that's been added in there as well. So yeah, that's where you're gonna add that. And then you have the content folder. This is where you're going to have the stadiums. As you can see, it's pretty bare bones, but we are going to do the stadiums live on camera today so you guys can see that. If you head over to the stadium one from the Football Live 23, you can see I have all these, and this is just subfolders. So when you go in from there, you've got the Premier League, the EFL, uh, and they're all there as well. So that's where those go. So what we're going to do next is the stadiums okay i'm going to show you guys very quickly how to add those into the mix um yeah this video might be all over the place but i'm trying to just wing it and figure it out so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to sort myself out i'll be right back and we'll add some stadiums all right folks so stadiums let's dive into it the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the add-ons stadiums tab once you're on there, which is where we already are, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the stadiums. Now, they have added more uh, than they used to have, which is nice. So I've gone in here and I've actually just downloaded all of them just for the sake of ease. Um, so you'll have 18 stadiums right here. And what you want to do is just you obviously click on it. There might be a link. There might not go in there and download it uh media fire is probably better to be honest it seems to be a lot quicker honestly i downloaded all these stadiums in about 10 minutes didn't take too long uh one day it will eventually show up no well anyway one of them will let's try the scottish one there it is so yeah it's the same old spiel let it load uh and then you should be fine no, nope, still doesn't want to pop up. I don't know where it went. But anyway, let it do its business. I'm just doing this as an example, okay? So click Media Fire, click Download, and then Bosh, download them all, all right? So once you've done that with every single pack that you want, I mean, install what you'd like, but honestly, I would recommend just downloading all of them for the sake of ease. Um, you're good to go. Now, you're going to have to take note of all this stuff right here. This is going to be needed. Otherwise, the game will not know what stadiums to use. Make sure you are not using older stadium packs. I mean, I do have older ones, but for this, I'm doing a fresh install because if you have two Selhurst parks, right, it's going to try and find either one of them and you're just going to get a black screen. If you're getting a black screen, it means the game cannot find that stadium. Either it's not in the game or you're duplicating it. So try and find either or. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to pop these up for you uh, because we've got all our stadiums that we have right here and then we have the actual Football Life folder itself on the left-hand side, okay? So this is where everything's going. This is where everything currently is. We're going to go to the Stadiums tab. We're going to start with the English one. I'm probably only going to do the English one just because I don't want to be here all day. But yeah, we're going to click on that and then it's going to pop up all the stadiums now if we do go here and we have a look at how this is set up as you can see there is no there's no folder beforehand the only concern with me doing it like this is it's going to be very bogged down there's going to just be a whole folder of one just one folder with all the stadiums instead of having like england 
Premier League, and then all the stadiums. So for sake of like structure and maybe keeping this a little bit more tidier, that's good English. What you'll want to do is probably go in here. We're going to go on the left-hand side. Sorry, we're going to go to... I've got to find it out. I've got to figure myself out now. Content. And then we're going to go to stadiums. Okay, so this is what we currently have right now. So what we're going to do, I'm actually going to make this, as I said, easier. Um, we're going to create a brand new stadium. Okay, we're going to call this... I'm going to call this England. I don't know if this is going to be too long, but we're going to call it England, okay? And we're going to click inside that. And then I'm actually going to label this another folder, and we're going to call this EPL. The reason I'm doing this, as I said, I don't want it to look ridiculously clonky, clanky, clanky. Uh, and if I want to add, like, Skybet, I don't want the Premier League mixed in with the Skybet. I want them separate. So once you've done that, we're going to click inside the EPL folder. We're going to grab all of these stadiums and we're literally going to just drag them across. You can do it that way or you can extract them. Either works. I mean, it's probably going to take a little bit longer like this if you don't extract them first. Um, but that's the way I'm doing it. So we're going to let it run its course. And then once all the stadiums have shifted over and uh, done its job, I'll be right back. See you in a minute. Now, if this pops up, obviously you'll need to provide admin access and all this. Just do do this for all current items and click continue. That's all you need to do. And then it's going to start running the course. So it shouldn't take too long with these because it's just one set of stadiums. Um, but yeah, that's all you need to do. All right, so there we go. As you can see, it has now moved them all over and they are in the, uh, the stadium place. Fantastic. I am going to also do maybe Italian, just to give you an example. But before we do that, I'm going to show you what you need to do when it comes to actually adding some stuff. Now, you've got the map teams add-on stadiums right here. Let me quickly take a look at what this entails. Oh, okay. So they've already added them for you. Well, that's nice of them. Perfect. So they've actually already done the homework for you, um, but this will not currently work due to the fact that we've put them inside an England slash EPL folder. So we're going to go ahead real quickly, and I'm going to make sure I do this right, so I'm going to go and look at uh, Football Life 23. We're going to add some just copy and paste stuff very quickly. So bear with me, and then I'll show you what to do. All right, so what you're going to need to do, and I said you don't have to do this. This is purely if you're planning on adding maybe a lot of stadiums and you just want to keep a little bit better structure, because it is difficult to go through hundreds and hundreds of folders that are all just named differently. Um, so what you're going to do is you're not going to do that. I've just copied and pasted it because we've called it England and then we've called it EPL. So we pretty much would just do that and then put make sure we've got a uh, what's the name forward slash. There it is, because this this is pretty much how my map looks for Football Life 23. You've got an England folder, a Premier League folder and then Arsenal, England, Premier League, Aston Villa, etc. So for Football Life 24, we've put EPL. So we go England, EPL, Amex Stadium. And then we're going to literally copy this straight down the board. So we do that for all of these stadiums. And don't worry, we are going to go in the game and we're going to test this out. If I butchered it, oh, we'll find out. So yeah, you don't have to worry about the first set because that's just telling you the actual name of the stadium. But this part here is actually going to try and find the stadium. And if it can, he find it. Guess what? It ain't going to work. And we don't want that happening. So, yeah, Selhurst Park, St. James's Park, the Hawthorns, Turf Moor, Vicarage Road, Villa Park, uh, and the Vitality Stadium. So, there we go. Fantastic. So, those have all been done. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that should definitely, definitely sort out the problem that we have. Let me just quickly clarify. So yes, as you mentioned, or I mentioned, there it is. England, EPL, and then all the stadiums. And that's how it adds up. So let's go ahead and do that again, but we'll do it this time for, let's do it for the Italian stadiums. So we're going to create a new folder. As you can skip along, I'm going to add timestamps for you guys. Uh, we're going to call this Italy, not tally, because that's not a word. So Italy, 
Then we're going to go inside of that folder and we're going to add another folder called uh, Syria A. Remember, you can do this with Syria B. And then we are going to grab the Italian stadiums right here. One thing that might actually be better to do is this. You can actually, this might be quicker. Go to highlight them all, extract to, right? And now what we need to do is find the exact folder for this. So we're going to go to Football Life. We're going to go to Cider Add-ons, Modules. Nope, we're going to go to Content. We're going to go to Stadiums. I know it's a long one. That's what she said. Italy. And then City App. Now we're going to plop them all in there. Ready? Go. So now it's just going to extract them. We're going to click Yes. And you guys will see all the stadiums popping up. And it honestly is a lot faster that way. So there's two options for you. You can either drag and drop without extracting, or you can extract them that way. And it's a little bit quicker. And then once it's done, we're going to do exactly what we just did regarding the English stadiums, except this time we're going to go Italy slash Syria A slash the rest of the stadiums. It's that simple. Well, hopefully, as I mentioned, we'll find out when we test this. <sighs> the joys, folks. But once you're done with this, that's it. I mean, the beautiful thing is once it's done, it's done. You Then you can just start adding a pom. So we're going to close this out. And we're going to go back. Actually, we don't even need to go back. We're going to open up this once again. And now we're going to find Italy. There it is, Italy. So we are going to we'll just type this in this time. We're going to go Italy forward slash Syria A. Make sure it is exactly, exactly the same. Okay, the font has to be, if it's all in capitals, put it in capitals. I don't know if it's true if that works or not, but I always like to keep it the same. Uh, and then we're basically just going to go through here and paste all of these uh, in front. Make sure you do put that slash in there. Got to have a slash, baby. So let's do that again. I'm going to highlight this. Copy it and put that behind the Gavais Stadium, the Ferrari Stadium, that one, that one. And yeah, we're just going to go through and add all of these. But yeah, we'll have the website done and we'll have all this stuff up there for you guys. Don't worry. I'm trying to make it as simple and easy for people to follow. Because honestly, I start these videos and half the time, I don't know which way I'm going. Um, but there it is. As you can see now, we have it perfectly set up. Italy, Italy, click inside that, Syria A, Syria A, and then within that, you've got the folders and the files and the stadiums. All right, folks, so you can't have, I did a test, I messed it up, so you can't have a maps and a maps underscore uh, add-ons together. That's not going to work. All right, just doesn't work that way. So you're going to have to do one or the other. So what we're going to do is pretty much take all these add-on stadiums, right? We're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to take it to, uh, forget the pre-installed ones, just up to here, right? Copy everything to the Spain section and then you can simply, underneath this, just paste those there, right? Right-click, paste. Okay, so now there shouldn't be any dupes. And you've got, you know, your in-game stadiums, you've got your pre-installed stadiums, and then you've got all the other ones. So then we'll go ahead and save this. I don't know if it's going to work. Probably not, once again, because of um, permissions. So if it doesn't work, then... Yes, always does that. Always with the permissions! So yeah, we'll just save this on the desktop, as I did last time. I've never been able to figure out the permissions, so I just kind of deal with it. Save. Yes, we'll replace it. Uh, we can close these out. And then basically now what we can do is go ahead and grab the maps from my desktop, which is an absolute mess. And that's why I'm not showing you them because it looks terrible. All right, there it is. So we've got our maps underscore teams. We're going to go ahead and replace the other one. Hit continue. Uh, and now when we open this one up, it should, there it is, have everything that we just copied over. Job done. And as long as we've got the, uh, you know, the England DPL stuff, yeah, it's already done. All right, so that should, that should, fingers crossed, work. Do we actually have Luton Town Stadium in here? 
I don't think we do. Yeah, these are old ones, Southampton. So yeah, we're going to have to sort out the Luton Town Stadium. Um, but yeah, they're all in there now. That is the stadiums done, okay? Now, you want to do that for all the stadiums, folks. Do it for France, Germany, Belgium, Portugal, Russia. They're all in there. They're all exactly the same. It's the same principle. If this works for you, they're all going to work for you. Um, but yeah, you can either do it my way or you can do it the way, you know, it's just dumping them in the folder. But if you want more structure, then just follow what I did. So next up, we do have the faces. Now, the faces are slightly different. I'm actually going to minimize this and make this a little bit over more because the stadiums for this are actually dumped into the download folder. Okay, so what you will want to do with the faces, and I'm not going to worry about doing this because I already have them all set up and I'm just going to drag them over from my old one. You're going to go in here and you're going to download. I mean, it shows you the list if you want to check them out. Um, but you'll scroll down to the download links. Once again, download all these if you don't have them. It is a lot. So again, it's going to take like 80 odd gig. Um, and it tells you what to do. Okay, you're going to extract and replace these files. Okay. So within here, as you can see, it says replace 01 SCAM blah, 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 FA6. That's these ones. So you're just going to plop them in and you're going to replace them. It's as simple as that. What I'm going to do for the sake of ease is I am going to go to Football Life 23. No, I don't want you to go over the top of it. And I am going to go to where the current faces are. So as you can see, look at the size difference, right? You can tell that these have been used. Sorry, I need to show you guys the actual uh, size of these files for uh, knowledge. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six files are all six to eight gig. Over here, it's only one, two, you can, there's nothing. It's like seven kilobytes. So download all these files, and I'm pretty much going to, just to make sure here, because it's going to tell you what to do. Um, you know, it, it's all on here if you guys don't know how to do it. But yeah, you're pretty much just copy and paste, and it shows you, you know, what you need to do. It's the same thing that I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to go here and uh, not the stadiums. I'm not worried about those. I'm going to get all these and I'm literally just going to copy and paste. So I've just hit control, paste, and I'm going to replace all of these files. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time because there's a hell of a lot of gig, but I'm going to do this to show you it works. And when you get in game, you'll actually see there's some faces. So I'm going to let it do the magic and then I'm going to return and then we can actually boot the game up and test that we got the stadiums in the faces. And we're good to go. See you in a minute. Okie dokie, it is now done. I went off, took a nap real quick because it took that long. Nah, but it's obviously gonna take a bit of time. So yeah, that is now done as you can see. Uh, there may be more packs with the face pack. They may be more updated if you download the new links, but for the sake of this video, that's what we're doing. So. Now, we're pretty much done, folks. You know, we have we have the basis of Football Live 24, right? It's installed, the update's done, we've added some stadiums, and we've put in some real faces. The other mods, if you want to grab any, as I mentioned, you've got to put them in live CPK. We have none right now, that's fine. Um, but I would literally just copy and paste mine over. Regarding Cider, okay, now this is where all the fun stuff is. And I'll probably want to go in there and add that stuff as well because you are going to have to, um, you are going to have to obviously add some code uh, amongst other things if you do add the mods. But this is where you are going to be able to change things. So if you open up the CIDR config file right here, you can see it says match minute zero. If you want to make your matches longer, 30 minutes, an hour, 90 minute match, this is where you'll do it. So you just change this to whatever. That's a 20 minute match, right? 50 minute match whatever you want to do i'm going to keep it on zero if you keep it on zero it basically just uses whatever the default setting is in the game itself uh, and then you've got all your lure folders and files down here which is going to pull the likes of the cameras the sleeves the kits uh, and the scoreboards and the stadiums so you've got to make sure you have all that in there but it's already done you'll add all the other stuff afterwards uh, regarding um you know, the mods with the live CPK. Uh, but that's for another day. And so we're not going to worry about that right now because I just want to get this going. So what I'm going to do is boot up the game. 
But first, I do want to add quickly, quickly, make sure that the controller is connected. I use DS for Windows, whether you guys do or not. Um, but there it is. That's uh, that's what I use. DS for Windows works very well uh, with the DualShock controller. Now, also, if you click on the Football Life 24 switcher, this is where you can choose your gameplay. You can use the default gameplay for Football Life. You can use Football Life 23 gameplay, standard PES 21 gameplay. I think that's what I did when I was using the game, uh, the Gentleman's Mod, which is basically what I'm going to be using anyway. But for this, we are going to use the default bit of gameplay. Uh, and then you can, you know, if you want to do it, then you've got to go through this. We're not going to worry about it right now because you've already done it because we're just playing with the standard. This is only, only if you want to change the actual gameplay. Now, regarding starting the actual game itself, I always, I always make sure now that pretty much I run these things as uh, admin. It's just a thing that I do, but I like to make sure I run most of these things as admin. Make sure that Cider is running, okay? It has to be running because here it is. You'll have this little box right here called Cider. If that's not running, you're not going to get the mods and all that stuff. Once that's running, then you can go over. Once again, I just like to run this as admin, which is what I'm going to do. And then it's going to pop up and then the game will boot. So I will see you guys there and we'll make sure that everything works. So I'll see you in the game. All right, so here we are. As you can see, it is loaded up Football Life 2024s. Uh, first time you boot it up, you will have to obviously put in you know, your settings and all that. As you can see, EXE 24.2.10 on the bottom right. You can't actually see because I'm in the way, um, but you'll be able to see. There it is. Update version 1.10. So that's how you know you have done it correctly. So we'll go ahead and click the button uh, and hope and pray it works. Now, how Cider works, folks, you've got to hit space bar. And as you can see, uh, then up pops all your different modules and you can go through and, uh, you know, do what you need to do. So let's quickly go to the edit mode just to check everything has worked out nicely there. Because remember, when you boot this up without the faces, everyone's going to look horrendous. Once you've sorted them out, everyone will look normal. Uh, but as you can see, all the teams there, Arsenal has got the likes of Declan Rice, etc. Fabio Vieira, Kai Havertz. If you guys are an Arsenal fan, have you enjoyed Havertz? I really don't know why you bought him. I mean, Chelsea mugs you right off for 70 odd million. But then again, I'm a United fan, so I can't say too much about being mugged off with the players that we've brought. Anthony. <clears throat> uh, there's Chelsea with all the players that they've brought. Such a mixed bag of a team. I don't even know half their players. And Liverpool with the likes of Gakpo. Harvey Elliott, McAllister, etc., Luton Town, Man City, and there is Manchester United. And as you can see, there are the faces. These are probably going to be old. That's why I got some newer ones. Uh, likes of Varane, Maguire, Lindelof. Uh, yeah, Evans looks like a 12-year-old a schoolboy. Luke Shaw there. Uh, Malassia does need a bit of a facelift as well. But as you can see, they're all there, all the players. Uh, and the good thing as well is they are updated. So the likes of, where is he, Hoyland is now an 81. Uh, I do have a better face for him. Um, but we're going to see some quality with these players, you know. And now we can actually start using him. Even Ganacho, he's rated an 80. He should have the super sub trait, really. But, yeah. Anyway, they look great. They look fantastic. The kits are there as well. So, yeah, let's go back now and quickly, very quickly, just check that stadiums have loaded. I really am hoping they have. Um, we're not going to be able to use Luton because they're not in it. But let's just use Newcastle, right? Playing at St. James's Park, taking on maybe uh, Aston Villa for a bit of fun. So if we hit that space bar, away goals. There's also a starting year change, so I don't know how that's going to work out. We will try maybe Masterly very quickly just to make sure uh, everything is there. All right, let's see here. So the stadiums, what do we have? They're all in here. So yeah, there is a lot being registered as you can see. St. James's Park is here. So there it is. 
And then you should have the ball and all that as well. So that's fine. We'll just put this on. I'm not going to play a match. Not going to play a match, but... Mm, there's the different balls. Or one ball, because it's using the ball that it's stated. All right, so we'll go ahead and kick off. And hope and pray that we don't get a black screen. If we don't, that's it. You guys now know how to add stadiums. Just make sure you're putting them in the right place. That's all it is. It is a lot of work sometimes, and it is really annoying when you do get a black screen and you can't figure out the problem. But if you do, it means the stadium is not being registered. Um, and there it is. Ah, very cool. Well, I haven't seen any of this. I haven't even played this game, so... But as you can see, you got the kits, the, the audio's kicking off, the fans are ready, uh, we've got a different kind of scoreboard as well, I think the ad board's got fixed, so it should be a little bit newer than my old playthrough, because I was using some really old mods. Ooh, very fancy. Ooh, I like it. Yes, look at that. Newcastle United today playing a 4-2-3-1. Alexander Izek, Harvey Barnes and co. But yeah, looks good, doesn't it? And there's the substitutes as well. Is that how many subs you get? Seven? Well, that's all changed over the years. But yeah, beautiful atmosphere. And, uh... And there we go. Look at that. Looks absolutely gorgeous, to be fair. I haven't changed my... I'm not playing on manual, but... But there it is, folks. That's how you do it. Um, you know, I'm probably going to end up just using the gameplay mod because that's kind of my style. That's what I like to use. Um, but yeah, we're going to be back with some Master League. Some good old-fashioned matches. We will be back with the regular content. Don't let him score early, lads. Oh, it's an absolute woeful one. <laughs> giving away a penalty just for a bit of a laugh absolutely annihilate him I do quite like the scoreboard don't they got the official scoreboard as well that's pretty nice yeah this was a shocker absolutely nowhere near the ball there alright let's just see him score a goal but yeah I haven't seen any of these transitions and replays so they're pretty neat actually he's going that way oh he thunders the crossbar sunshine all right, anyway, ladies and gents, that's it for today. Uh, just wanted to hopefully help you guys out. We will be back showing you all the mods um, in, on the website and stuff. But now you have a foundation that you can build upon because adding everything else is pretty simple and it's not that difficult. Um, but yeah, I will help you guys. We'll, we'll be back with a bash. We'll be back with United. All right, folks, actually, before we end the video, because I did want to check this out, because there is an option, it's pretty neat, as you can see in the bottom, you can turn off the away goals rule, which is what we would do. Uh, but you can also change the starting year. I want to see what happens here. We're going to start this from 2023, okay? Because I just did start one and I didn't change the date and it is 2020. So I really want to see what happens here. So we're going to go ahead and pick Man United because we've got to make sure we are in the Champions League and the contracts are right, etc. I'm going to go ahead. There are all these managers, by the way, that you can pick. This is default with the mod or, you know, football life. So they're all there. We're going to go ahead, obviously, and pick the bald egg of Ten Hag. Where hey, hey. I'll give him some sportswear because he loves to wear it. So we're going to quickly just plow through this. Uh, we'll just put pounds for the sake of it, and I like to go weekly. I would disable, obviously, the, the first section of transfers. So let's have a look. Uh, my main thing is I don't know how things are going to go. So let's see. We're going to be diving right into the thick of it, the same cutscenes that we all love and have seen a thousand times before. Uh, objectives, whatever. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yes, we are the players of the team. Yes, remember my... Uh, Den Haag action. Please, the players. We'll be back with it. I know you guys have missed it. <laughs> You've missed it like a hole in a kite. So anyway, I want to thank everyone. Va 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 va. Right, so skippity skippity do. Let's have a look what happens. So here we are. As you can see, 2023. So that's nice. 29, 8, 2023. 20, Good stuff. The question is, 
how is the rest of it going to look? Okay, there is the Champions League group stage. Okay, I'm liking the look of that. Right, I'm going to go ahead very fast and quickly sim this. And this just gives you guys an idea as well. Maybe you're maybe you're interested about, you know, picking up certain... Uh, or starting a, a master league with this. Oh, look, they've changed these a little bit. Very nice. Scouting, okay. Now, I've opted to not worry about the transfers at the beginning, which I, I don't want to worry about anyway. Ideally, with this Master League, bosh, we're going to get right into it and uh, and not mess about. So, yeah, we're just going to keep skipping through. Yes, we don't want to be a national manager. No real point to it. And, uh, yeah, I really just want to see who we're going to face in the Champions League. Keep getting these negotiations popping up. Casemiro to be transferred. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Right, I do want to have a look, though, at the players themselves and the contracts. Let's have a look. Current salary, contract ends 2024, 24, 25, 24. Okay, so it seems like the contracts all look good. 28, okay, 2028. I know Rashford's just got a new contract, so let's see how much... Where's he at? 2025. Probably could be a bit more. Current weekly salary's way off, but, you know, it is what it is. But all right, for the most part, it does seem like all the contracts look good. Mason Mount's 2028. That makes sense. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we have a transfer budget of 130 million, but that's because I... Uh, I didn't really change it. So, okay, it seems like this is going to work. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We can start in 2023-24 season, which is always good fun. And, uh, and yeah, plow on. There are going to be, there might be the odd transfer happening because even when you turn them off, there might still be very minimal transfers. I mean, Newcastle coming in for Harry Maguire. It's always good stuff. Let's see if the... Um, yeah, there is no Champions League yet. Okay, I'm going to try and find out the Champions League stuff, and then I'll return, so bear with me. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty neat, isn't it? I will admit, I do like I do like the UI. I think they've done a, a pretty decent job with it. Um, it looks pretty nifty. All right, so there's the first game. We're going to go ahead. Um, I wouldn't use that. Go to normal game plan. Shine, shine. So there we go. Okay. So there's the boys. Whatever works. So let's go ahead and skip this game. What are you thinking? 2-1 win? Ooh, 1-0. Very nice. All right. Did the job. So there we go. Right. Have we got any Champions League football yet, boys? There's the, uh, the Europe's best player award. Sorry, we're not doing a Master League here. I'm just trying to show you guys. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne always seems to win it. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys uh, how this how this works. And if it works, because, you know, it's not easy doing all this stuff. And as you can see, we are back now with some more Premier League football. Beautiful. Right. There's the draw. Fantastic. So now we can go down and have a look. Oh, we got Sevilla in our group. And we got Rangers and Inter Milan. Let's see. Panathinaikos, AC Milan, Benfica. I don't know if the team... The, the teams probably aren't going to be 100% uh, accurate. Liverpool, because Liverpool are in it. Because they're not really in it. But it doesn't matter. I'm not really worried about which teams are in it. I just want to be in the Champions League and actually make it worthwhile. So, all right. It looks like it's going to work. Fantastic. So, I'm going to spend today getting things ready. With all the mods that I'm going to add in the live CPK folder. And then we'll be back with a brand new Master League series. And that's it. We're going to push on from there. Evolve these players and get Man United back where they belong. But until next time, subscribe for more. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Because it did take me some effort. Because I made so many mistakes. But that's why you do it live. So you guys can see them. And not do them yourself. And make sure you turn your antivirus on afterwards. Okay? Until next time. Take care.